Hi, Nancy. Hi, Lydia. How are you? I'm fine. How about you? And there's Jane and also Olivia. Mike. It's oh, do I Hi, Mike. There's Gary. And it's eleven o'clock. Christine might be able to join us. She um, went to Provincetown to work on um, the aftermath of the beach cleanup, the huge beach cleanup that they did over the Earth Day weekend. So hopefully she'll be joining us. If she, she did email with some notes. So I have some things to go over once we hear from Mike and um, Carrie, if she comes today. Right. So should we wait another minute or two? And then also Jane, I see is trying to connect to audio. Welcome, Gary. Hi, thank you. Sure. Let me see if I can reach uh, Jane real quick. Jane's gonna try and uh, again, I think she's using her phone. Um, and Gary, just so you know, I don't know if you heard him. Christine is um, in Provincetown. She might be able to join us a bit later. Oh, great. great. But we do have some notes that she, uh, that she gave us. We could um, start with welcoming everybody. And we have a, do we have a quorum? We don't without, we don't have a quorum yet, so we need two, three. We do need Jane back in order to reach our quorum of four. There we go. And here's Chris Wisniewski's joining us and Jane. All right, so it looks like we've got it. Um, welcome, Chris and Carol. Carol's with the Energy and Climate Action Committee. And um, good. So we're going to start the meeting. Um, it's now 11.03. And we could just start with it. Does anyone have any announcements they'd like to make? Um, there was a town election yesterday. So the results are now, unofficial results are posted on the town of Wellfleet's website in the town clerk section. And uh, just give congratulations to Michael DeVasto and Barbara Carboni, new select board members. Well, not new, actually Mike's uh, returning. So I wanted to say that. Um, we can go to you, Mike, for Transfer Station Recycling Center announcements or notes. Thanks, Lydia. Good morning, everybody. Uh, not too many notes for today, just uh, that we had a successful amnesty day. 
We had 318 cars that came in just for Amnesty Day, so that doesn't count the normal business and the swap shop and all of that. And it was pretty much straight out for about five and a half hours. So that averages out to about 55 loads an hour that we did. Wow. Mm. So I, you know, put all the numbers together, but um, basically it was like 36 tons of C and D in those those hours. It's like seven mm. of those 40 yard dumpsters. Amazing. Well, wow. I was busy, mm. but my, it was my, good. People seem to like it. Yeah, go oh, ahead. Wow. Like you did an excellent job. I was so impressed with how the whole thing ran. It was it was really well done. Thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate that. This was the first year we were able to use that new setup. Mm -hmm. um, so we were a little short staffed, but I think it did it did work out a little bit better. But thanks, I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So next year we got a couple of things to change for next year, but uh, yeah, it was. I think people were very happy to have their amnesty day back. <laughs> Did people um, get some furniture too, like were there some people picking up some good stuff or was it mostly like construction demolition? I think the swap shop was was pretty busy, but um, it, it we were able to load the containers pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, and I didn't I didn't see too many things that might have stuck out as like treasures. So it was you know, a lot of clean outs, but <laughs> it's all in the eye of the beholder, right? Right. Um, and I just wanted to say thank you, uh, Well Feet Recycling Committee, for uh, helping to support that paint care bill. Um, I appreciate that. And that's kind of where we're trying to get to with all these recycling programs that we're doing mattresses and paint is to uh, try to get some of these types of things passed so that the cost to the municipality um, is shifted to the manufacturers. So that's really excellent. Um, with the paint in particular, it would be that retail locations could opt in to accepting paint back at their locations. Yeah, they could, but that's part of it. I don't believe it's not uh, mandatory, but um, you know, at the end of the day, the producers of these things, packaging paint, you know, they can produce whatever they want to fit their whims, but the municipalities end up bearing the brunt of the cost on the back end of it. So that's what we're trying to get away from. So thank you for that. Um, I apologize that there isn't as much screened loam compost this year as there usually is. I just haven't had the time to get out there and do it. I'm really hoping maybe this week. Uh, there is plenty of compost available to take. It's just not screened. Um, that's in the back. Uh, and if you don't know where that is, you can, you can come see me. Um, and then just one other note of interest. Uh, our trash is now being diverted back to CMAS temporarily through New Bedford Waste. Um, why I don't really know, but uh, they were just bought out by a larger corporation, Waste Connections, um, and they're making some changes down there. So I just thought that was interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess, does the transportation wise, is it a little bit better or about the same? It's it's literally across the street for us. So <laughs> one, one or the other, but uh, it's just, um, I know they're trying to make some big changes at New Bedford Waste and the logistics of where they bring that trash to, you know, I, I don't know exactly what they're doing. So they've shifted us back, but it's just always interesting. Um, to try to keep you guys up to date on where our trash is going. Cause I think it's important. Yeah. Good to know. So it's not being buried. It's being burned for the moment. All right. <laughs> Thank you. And do you have any updates on possible composting um, initiatives in the county level? Not, not at the county level, but this is something that I've been kind of looking into on the side. Um, there's been a couple of good Recycling Works webinars on composting. It's, it's definitely an area that I think in the coming years, the DEP is going to continue to ratchet down the amount of, of uh, food waste generated by like the restaurants that's going to fall under these kind of bans. Mm -hmm. So we got to figure out what we're going to do with it. And, you know, if Wealthly wants to have a role in that or what we want to do, but I'm trying to put something together um, for that, but it's just all, all these things that are kind of in between when I'm running around around here, you know? Right. All right. Well, um, thank you. Does anyone have any questions for Mike? I just have an update for East Ham. Uh, we are uh, on our path to a, uh, a, a uh, composting operation at our transfer station. Uh, Mike, maybe Silvio has been in touch with you and, and uh, he's collaborated with you on this. I know he's, uh, he's uh, looking for a, uh, uh, an operation start date some, sometime in early uh, 
2023, next year. But we just sent out a survey to uh, the East Ham community. We're looking to find out uh, it's it's handling being handled by uh, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, survey Monkey, I guess is the name of the uh, the operation. And uh, it just it's going out right now, or it's in the process of going out to the community right now. And what we're looking looking to learn is how much they know about comp composting and how much they'd be interested in participating in a town-wide composting program. So That's I'll share those results with you as soon as we get them. Could you share the survey with us as well? Oh, sorry. Sure, sure. Yeah, I'd love to see it. That's a great, a great idea. I'll be happy to do that. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Gary. I, I did not know that. That's excellent. But I'll definitely be in touch with them now. <laughs> They'd love to hear from you. Now, uh, is, is the East Ham Recycling Committee, is that a full board or are they still looking for members? Uh, we're still looking for members. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. All right. Thank you uh, very much for that. And then we'll go to Carol Maginot, Energy and Climate Action Committee liaison. If there's no questions for me, I am going to run. Okay. Thank you, Mike. Thank you all. Take Good care. Good to see you, Mike. Bye. You too. Hi. Sorry. Um, I don't have anything significant to report. Okay. <laughs> that was short and sweet. Um, annual calendar notes. Maybe I will share the screen once I get this up on the screen. This is a Google sheet that we look at from time to time that has things that are coming up. So here's, can you all see it? Yes. Okay. Great. Let me just move this down. Um, so here we are in May. Memorial Day, Saturday, yard sale at the dump. We heard from Harriet Corum of Cape Cool and the um, C Prize. It's a scholarship that they give to Nauset and Cape Cod Tech students and some other students um, that are kids that are working on environmental issues and plan to go into that field. So that scholarship um, raises quite a bit of money each year and that the day is um, the 28th of May. She's working with Roland on, on arranging it. And Roland was, seemed really pleased. He said that it was like, kind of like things getting back to normal to have the yard sale at the dump take place again. I think it's maybe the 20th year or something like that. So if you do have uh, things that you might want to give um, to that, event, it will, um, any, all the proceeds, it's always pay what you wish um, for the items there. You can, then that money will get donated to the scholarship fund. Okay. Yeah. And who runs this? It's Harriet Corum. She was yeah. one of the yeah. founders of the Recycling Commission when it was a commission. And uh, good, so there's that. There's also that, well, the transfer station is going to go to seven days a week that that weekend and free well fleet was that event where you leave stuff at your driveway and there's a map and people can can go and, and uh, pick up directly from a person's driveway large items like furniture things that you may not want to take to the transfer station as far as i know there isn't a plan to do it in may but maybe in june we'll see um, those are question marks and again that would be roland and uh, nancy vale are a couple of the people that we're organizing it along with a recycling committee. Christine does the, um, is able to do the online map and wayfinding for that. Uh, Water Station, Strawberry Festival Community Cutlery, that's a Wellfleet Historical Commission has borrowed it in the past. I'm not sure if they're doing that event. Um, yes, they are, they are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, June, June 19th. June 19th, all right, great. So maybe we should, Nancy, would you be willing to reach out to them to see if they want to borrow community cutlery? Yep. They have in the past, and we're always happy to offer that. And we also have compost buckets if they want to use those. Okay. Um, you said the 19th, so that's Father's Day Sunday. 
Um, you know what, let me look in my calendar and it is on Father's Day, but let me just check if it's the Sunday or the Saturday. Yeah. Um, it is Sunday the 19th. Okay, it's also June 10th. So, June 10th. All right, one other thing happening this June is certain um, recycling committee members' terms expire. And all that means is that if you'd like to continue to be on the recycling committee, you let the town administrator's office know that you'd like to be considered for reappointment by the select board. And this year it's Jaya and Jane that are up for whose terms expire June 30th. So please be sure that if you do wanna renew and I, I sure hope you do, um, go to see, uh, yeah. Excuse me, um, I, I forgot how you do it now. You, you show up at the town hall yeah, you can call um, Jean McLaughlin, the principal clerk, is the one that usually gets in okay. touch with board and committee members. And you okay. just let her know that you'd like to, you know, be considered for another term. So and I can call. Yeah, I've gone in person. Yeah, of course. Now I remember. Now I remember. Yeah. It's easy. Okay. You can email her, you know, just let her know um, okay. in, sometime in May or June, you know, it's uh, yeah. just to lock it in there so that they'll know to reappoint Thank you. you consider okay. you for reappointing. Mass DEP micro grants. I haven't really looked into the grants in recent months, so maybe it's time for that. And compost outreach. I think that would be great to, to do more in that regard if any of you are interested in maybe trying to do something at the dump or one year we did compost tours in town, about eight or nine different locations. Uh, Lonnie Briggs had us over to her place and. John Portnoy and others um, might be fun to do something like that because we know composting is like the low hanging fruit just to be able to get the food waste out of the municipal solid waste is a huge savings and much better for the environment than, you know, it's, it's great for the environment period. All right, so I'm gonna stop the share. I think that's, um, oh, we did hear from just one more thing about, uh, June is the town meeting. Oh, yes. So that's June, geez, I think it's the 11th. Yeah, it's annual town meetings at 10 a.m. And on uh, June 11th, and we heard from the moderator, Dan Silverman, who was also just reelected. Um, as moderator and he would, yes, he would like the recycling committee to help with water stations again this year. What we did last year was we asked um, Hillary Greenberg Lemos, the health agent, if she could um, invite AmeriCorps members to, to help out. So we'll ask her for that again. And um, stop the share there. Nancy was instrumental last year in picking up water and organizing things. And I'm not sure if Nancy, would you be willing to help out again this year? Yes, yep. Does anybody else wanna participate? It's um, gonna be at the Wellfoot Elementary School ball field. What is the date again, please? Sure, June 11th. Starts what at- day? What day of the week is that, please? Saturday. Yeah, the weekends are tough. Yep. Okay, I'll well, keep it in mind though, yeah. yeah. It's annual town meeting, um, 10 a.m. Usually goes to about one or 2 p.m. at the latest, hopefully. All right, that kind of takes care of the calendar notes. Um, Mass DP Barnstable County, we don't have Carrie here today, so uh, we'll pass on that. Public Works Refill Stations Progress. That's kind of ongoing, as we know. Um, Christine's notes said under outreach that uh, she saw our ad about the refill stations. She saw our ad in the Orleans Discovery Map. Uh, need to update or remove planned refill stations in Well Played on East Ham. And then uh, Gary, she has a question for you. Does Gary have any news on East Ham refill station installations? Uh, yes, there is, they will be all finished by uh, Memorial Day. 
Oh, all so six lovely. will be in in Memorial Day. Wow. That's the goal, and that's what they're working towards feverishly, and I think they're going to make it. That's wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. And I'll pass that along. Thank you, Rudy. Sure. Is that, um, remind me, is, was that paid for through a town meeting vote or a, um, the budget of the DPW or was it community preservation? Not, anyway, well, it's not a pressing question. I'm just, uh, it is uh, impressive that we got it done so, you know, so quickly. So maybe that's, um, I think it's on the budget for the September town meeting. In Wellfleet to expand the refill station locations. But we're happy to give that good news um, to Christine about the Memorial Day. Um, the printed materials, banners, library of things, photos, new equipment. Christine did order the tent, the Easy Up tent, cost $200. And um, we were able to use the tax exempt form from the town because the town doesn't pay sales tax on things. And uh, so that should arrive pretty soon and be available for people to borrow for special events outside, you know, either as a sunshade or just shelter. I think she got the blue easy up tent. So it'll be a 10 by 10 foot tent. Other things, uh, library of things, photos. Oh yeah, that was a big project that um, Chris, Chris Wisniewski and Olivia worked on um, at the library. And those pictures are in, I think, Google Drive mm -hmm. and shared with the library. And there's, there's more to come, I think. Um, Some of the things at the transfer station. Yeah, right. Okay. So once those are done, it says get images to Naomi at the library. And I think the library will soon have them on their website or in their materials as available to borrow. That's the goal. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the banners, I haven't really moved on that yet. Um, last month, we were talking about different, different names for recycling committees. And uh, so I just want to be sure that everyone wants to stick with Wellfleet Recycling Committee before we go and buy a banner. So how do you feel about that? <laughs> it's, I think it says Wellfleet Recycles on it um, or Wellfleet Recycling Committee. Any thoughts? I'll keep it as is. I can't hear you, Jane, it's, you're on mute. Keep as is, I would say. Okay. So we can go ahead and order those, I guess. And if it does end up changing, we can maybe reuse them in some way. Um, now, Chris Wazeski had suggested uh, if we were to go with printing something on a dishcloth that would be available for sale, that did you come up with a good, any uh, names or? No, not not yet. I'm still thinking about it. That's okay. kind of a lot going on in my life right now. <laughs> Sorry. Hope it's all good. It's, it's busy. <laughs> right. Um, oh, swap shop, new building, yard sale at the dump. So sorry about the M28. I think I meant to put May 28. So we kind of covered that already. Now waste reduction, Earth Day weekend, annual beach cleanups. I think Jaya wants to say something. Oh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead, Jaya. Um, I, I just, one subject back. I don't know if it's too much to rethink, but this idea of, we all know recycling is quite iffy. Um, the reduce, um, reduce, reuse, recycle. I don't know if there's any way we can maybe consider using those three words and not just recycle but I know that involves oh, more okay. space, yeah. everything else. You mean and on the bat? Yeah, it puts out the idea of, yeah, uh, oh yeah, reuse, oh, reduce, number one. I don't know, I just I just feel it, it's, it's more of a timely message now than simply 
recycled because so much is not recyclable or being mm -hmm. recycled. Right. So in a ban, oh sorry, in a banner or something, you would like that that slogan to be. I yeah. think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Good. Um, I was just wondering how other ways we could print that, you know, because it kind of yeah. lends itself to a lot of um, different. I understand that. You know, so, uh, yeah. No, it's good. It, it can go that way. It can go. Actually, you know. I, I, in that case, I withdraw my suggestion to leave it as it is. I think Jaya's suggestion is better. To, is this, you mean to change the name? Or well, to, yes, to, the, I like the reuse. What, what was it? Reuse? Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reduce, reduce. I like I like that better than just recycle from making off. Mm -hmm. Well, for we just it's a bit longer than most. I, know. Uh, <laughs> I think maybe maybe drop the recycle, but we we can't do that. No, 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 no. <laughs> but reduce, reuse. Yeah, it's a tricky one to try mm -hmm. to fit it in. Yeah, it yeah. is. I know. Is, we could but, certainly include it in on the banner and things like that, and then yeah, you know, that's an easy thing to do. Mm. It gives more of an of a message. Mm -hmm. Sure, but I know it's more wordy. So mm. I, I think it would work as as a, a line underneath Well Fleet Recycling Committee. I, I could see yeah, that. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, you can do that. I'm I'm feeling particularly virtuous. I just. An old apron was looking really ratty, and I just tore it all up and made two dish towels out of it. So I'm feeling quite virtuous today. <laughs> That's nice. Good. Um, now, just back to the waste reduction, Earth Day weekend annual beach cleanups. I hear the one in Provincetown was huge. Mm -hmm. They found a lot of material. Um, we started at the Wellfleet one at Mayo Beach, and I ended up going to. Um, Duck Harbor, and then I went to the Sluice Way. And I know that Nancy was there, and you went to um, which ocean? We, we went to um, Newcomb Hollow, and the tides had been very, very high. And so there really wasn't any trash, just uh, marine waste. So but a few lobster traps we, we dragged back in, you know, broken up pieces mm -hmm. of lobster traps. Yeah. At Duck Harbor, it was really very clean. And one other thing was um, the seashore had put up a lot of uh, fencing or posts and, and then line so people would not go beyond a certain point because of the seabirds the area. Yeah, the plovers. So that was the case all the way to the left, all the way down to where there's that kind of area where a lot of trash does tend to amass. But I was surprised that and pleased that it was really pretty clean. The, the area that had the most stuff was really the parking lot, the perimeter of the parking lot. There was you know, usual stuff, masks, bottles and cans, glass bottles, stuff like that. But um, it makes me think at this time of year, sometimes you'll find a lot, but I think a lot of the material might be coming from, from boats, you know, people mm -hmm. that are maybe could they be possibly be dumping stuff over? I don't know. I, th I know that at Wellfleet, I think it's free to, you don't have to pay to throw things in the trash at the Wellfleet Marina from your boat. It's um, something that maybe we should look, you know, it's not like you have to pay a fee. So there's an incentive to throw it out at the municipal town, you know, parking area. Well, plus, I think on boats, a lot of it will blow off or fall off when it's uh -huh. bumpy and, you know, right. you know, because if you think of what we're finding, it's it's not like garbage bags full of stuff. Typically, it's, you know, cups and and it's also summer stuff, but the balloons come from far away, no doubt. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Chinese families having parties. That's always a lot of balloons. Hmm. They oh. just let them loose, don't they? I don't know if that's, uh, <laughs> I haven't really, maybe a gross generalization, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I, I, I've banned balloons in my family. Right. Yeah. I think Wellfleet has that. We have a ban in place, but, you know, they do blow from other, other parts of the state. Who knows? Okay. Um, 
We have the plastic bottle ban petition to article for the September special town meeting. So, um, let's see if there's Christina. Yeah, she just said the plastic bottle bylaw amendment uh, to special town meeting in September. I think it's I think the 20th. I think, I think uh, 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 oh no, I've got a really good Let me see if I see it. Um, any notes on refill kit cut outreach? Anything new? Um, just besides seeing the ad in the discovery map, uh, that's that. Okay. Bottle bill expansion draft letter to our legislators. So I came across um, something from the Conservation Law Foundation on expanding the bottle bill. And I wanted to just read you some notes on that. So the bottle bill basics are have a standard, explicit performance targets, clear definitions, a broad list of beverage containers covered, deposit value of at least 10 cents, and universal return to retail. So that's a, a good thing because it's the um, universal return to retail is one of the things we had hoped would be included. Um, so I just put those in the chat. Cynthia Cream is the state senator from Newton, and she's the sponsor of this uh, latest expansion of the bottle bill. It includes um, if businesses can opt in and they're given a fee per, a handling fee per container. So the ones that want to do it can, will, will get a little money back for doing it because it is a as Jaya mentioned last time, it's um, you have to have storage, you have to have staff, you have to have time to handle it. Um, there are also these deposit, you know, redemption centers where it's automated, and uh, I think it's uh, something that Wellfleet should consider reporting, supporting in a resolution or in a, a letter. Do you um, feel similarly, or how do you feel about expanding the bottle bill? Well, yeah, a good thing. It's been, I think, 30 years or something since it's been changed, uh, since it started. So it hasn't, uh, it's still at five cents. So this would raise. This would raise Bigger deposit, bigger deposit definitely makes sense. I live in the deposit of much higher. Am I echoing? Am I echoing? Everyone chases. So, I favor a favor. Okay. Olivia, would you be willing to put on a letter? Sorry about this. I don't know what's about. about, 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 about I mean, weird sound. Yeah. Yeah, I'm having weird sound. Olivia, where are you? The sound is very odd. I know, everyone's echoing that. Can you hear me? Let me leave and come back. Okay. Okay. So she's going to leave and come back. She was in Paris. I think everybody is echoing. There's an echo on all of us. Oh, really? I only heard it on Olivia. Yeah, I don't hear it on Joya. I know what it is. It's my phone. <laughs> better? Better? Yeah. Say something. <laughs> Still hearing a little bit. No. Is there a phone near you? I'll move it to another room. 
I'm going to turn my turn my. Okay. Uh, well, I was wondering if you would be willing to work on a letter to legislators. There's a chair of Micah. Micah. I can't hear. You sound clearer to me, Olivia. At least my reception of you is, is okay. much clearer I now. I can hear your giant question. You know what I might do is I think I'll end the meeting when we start it. Because it's really in the background. So everybody have a nice meeting when we start. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we no, should click out. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna end, 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 end,